Melissa McCullough knew what she wanted, the most energy efficient, toxin free home possible, and it seems she's got it. People come in here for a green home and I talk about, well this is formaldehyde free. Many times the first response is, most of it has formaldehyde in it, and, and is formaldehyde bad? The EPA scientist is now on a mission to educate fellow home buyers about going green to benefit the environment, and she says ourselves. Her 2,000 square foot home achieves that in many surprising ways. Bamboo is a rapidly renewable resource, actually a grass, and harder than um, maple. This is a product called Three Form, and it's made from recycled soda bottle plastic. McCullough had plenty of help, an architect with a vision, one that makes the ground floor seem like a part of the woods. Depending on how it's designed, it can feel a lot larger than it really is. Uh, when you walk around Melissa's home, it doesn't feel like 1,500 square feet because there's nice views, uh, the spaces open up. And a builder willing to tackle the unusual demands of a house that may seem extreme, but whose individual parts make a lot of economic sense. The difficult part, I think, was getting the subcontractors to go along with the plan and finding, finding people that were willing to work with a straw house doing an HVAC system was, was difficult. A long list of special details makes McCullough's home the perfect, well, greenhouse. There are solar panels to heat the water, which radiates through the concrete flooring, reducing the need for heating. Photovoltaic panels make electricity, which is sold directly to her local utility through the NC Green Power Program. She then buys it back at less than half the price. The exterior walls are made from sturdy 8-inch thick wheat straw panels. The straw provides insulation and is naturally treated to be fire and pest resistant. A Look at house. it, it's not a straw house, I so I say yes, this is my truth window and this is it. Lighting fixtures use compact fluorescent bulbs and are sealed, eliminating the loss of interior air. Natural skylights and light sensors increase efficiency, as do the Energy Star rated appliances. The counters and steps are made from bamboo, the cabinets pure bond plywood. Doors are made from compressed wheat, as sturdy and stylish as cherry. All the paints, caulks, and adhesives are toxic compound free. And a special insulation called isinine makes the home airtight. So this is blown by water, and it expands to fill all the spaces. Effective, so when she has to downsize, McCullough can do it without leaving home. So the master bedroom, the living spaces, all the utilitarian areas are on the first floor. The second floor has teenagers' rooms, hangout rooms, so uh, when her kids move out to go off to college, she can seal off the upper floor and just live on the first floor. As she enjoys substantial savings, her energy system should pay for themselves within seven to ten years. McCullough won't have to do much maintenance. The roof and exterior lime stucco could last a lifetime. And the outside of the property utilizes xeriscaping, just a fancy way of saying it uses very little water. There is a rain barrel to handle what little watering is required. Welcome news during the Triangle's current drought, but make no mistake, this home is built for any conditions, but especially for those that demand a green answer. I love my job. It's, it's wonderful to be able to, to look back and say, I, I did that. Um, it's very rewarding. And I think it'll make the world a better place for my children.